In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up digital mode on your FT891. Okay, so you press and hold on the F key here. And then let's uh, go all the way to the top. Let's go to menu five, item six. Okay, menu five, item six. Some of these I know what they do and some of them I'm still learning. Um, but, um, you know, the manual does give you a little explanation. Unfortunately, it's not the best. So don't get discouraged. But, you know, these settings that I'm going to give you should give you uh, a template to start off. Okay, so cat rate. That's so that uh, the computer can talk to the rig. You can set that. You can press on the multifunction button here. You can press that to the value that you want. Um, if you look at the FT8 documentation, it says something about being at 4,800, but I think you can go higher than that, but I want to keep it at 48. Uh, cat TOT, which is the next uh, uh, menu uh, item. This is menu five, item seven. Um, this one, many people have different values, but thousand has worked for me. Okay, then the next uh, item, which would be number eight, cat RTS. And we're going to disable this. Um, in a lot of my experiences with the FT rigs, a lot of the times I had to have that enabled. But this time it's disabled, believe it or not. Um, okay, now we're going to go to 8.1, menu 8. Menu 8, okay. So menu 8, item number 1. Menu 8, um, item number 1. Data mode. Data mode is going to be other. So I'm going to put others, okay. And we're going to go to 8.3. Right, other display. Now this is something that you might want to um, adjust, but I'm going to start off at 1500. Okay, 1500. And then the next one, um, menu eight, item number four, other shift, click on it, go to 1500. For whatever reason, these two things you need so that when you're looking at the display, the waterfall, they seem to move over um, more towards the center of the screen. These two, I'm not exactly sure what they are. And if you do know, please tell us in the description at the bottom. But notice that that's pretty necessary. Okay, then 8.5, right? Oops, I'm going to click on the knob here. Uh, 8.5, well, you can leave it at 300 hertz. Some people change that. And then 8.7, I leave it at 3,000. Some people change that as well. But I leave it like that. 8.9, right? Menu 8, item number 9. Data in, select. And this one... We definitely want rear, so it's already set. 810, we go to 810. This one, data PTT select is dark Y, right? So we're going to select dark Y. In my F, FT991 um, and 857, I didn't choose that, but in this one, this one, I choose it and it works that way. Okay, 811, which is the uh, data output level. You know, it shouldn't be that high. Shouldn't be over 50. I put it at 40. We can always change that. You can make a determination. 812 is going to be upper sideband. Make sure you have it on, on data BFO. Make sure it's upper sideband. Um, this one's not auto. Uh, this is the data one. So 
um, the like FT8 uses upper sideband, so we got to make sure we got that press on the knob here, and then um, 16.1. Let's go to 16.1, uh, which is the power, right? SSB, HF, SSB power. Um, you know, you don't need a lot of power. A lot of people say you do. Um, by default, right, if you click on the um, C-L-A-R button, or um, what's that, Claire button, it takes you up to 100. That's the default value when you get uh, the rig. You shouldn't have it that high. Um, I mean, technically you could, but I've gotten... I've, I've gotten um, to have contacts. I'm over here in Southern California. Um, I've had contacts at 10 watts to um, people in uh, Argentina and also in um, Canada. So you don't need that much. But that's an option. But I, I would lower it down to 10. And then the um, HF power, you might want to lower it down also. I'm not sure which one it uses. You would assume it uses the SSB because it's doing the um, data um, data for upper sideband. But it's probably a good, good idea to lower that as well. Okay, and then 1614. Okay, let's go to uh, 1614 here. Uh, data gain. Uh, it might help. You can lower it, you can increase it, put it at a 40. You can mess around with that and see how that works for you. Okay, and that's the settings uh, for the menus. Click on F, takes you back here. Now, there's a lot of little things that happen every time you do something to this radio in terms of uh, changing the band or the mode. So you got to keep an eye on a couple of things. For example, um, if you press on the F button here, sometimes a lot of things are turned on. Um, like for example, the automatic gain control or the DNR. Definitely you don't want DNR. The um, automa automatic gain control, you could turn it off, right? And if it's too loud, lower down the volume. You could turn it off. Um, if you click on the F button here, let's say uh, noise blanketer, you don't need that. All right. And then, and then any other button that's turned on, you might want to turn it off. Consider it. But those are the ones uh, that you got to keep an eye on. And then the width. The width, when you select it, you should expand it to um, 3.3200 uh, hertz because if you keep it narrow like this um, you'll see that the in the waterfall they won't fall nicely spread out so keep that um, wide and you'll find out very quickly that sometimes this is not when you change modes or bands sometimes this is not selected and then you can click on the F button. You can see, oh, clear, uh, Claire, to get out. Right now, I have my meter here. Um, if you click on it, it gives you power, ALC, SWR. To put it here, to put um, meter on this button, click on the F button, move the um, multi-function knob, put the arrow next to meter. You can you can select it. Let's try that again. You can select it or not, and then press and hold on the A key. And then you'll see it here, or the B or C key. And then you can see it has a little notch on there. Little notch says that you're ready to select whatever you want to choose. Power, right, gives you power. Right now, this is not the power. Right now, it's showing you the S um, levels. Again, 
you can see that little notch there. You can move this knob here and you can do ALC, which is important. Um, when you're transmitting, you want your ALC to be a little bit lower. You can do that by the software. By There's this lever on the right where you go up and down. Um, some people say ALC should be halfway. Some people say it shouldn't be as much. You're going to have to kind of like, you know, figure that out a little bit. For me, the when, when the ALC is on, it shouldn't be that high. That's my thinking. Uh, and of course, again, this is, you can see that the notch is selected here. So I can use this wheel. Uh, SWR. SWR is really important. If you don't have good SWR, you might not have good propagation. Um, let's see, if you click on the knob here, yeah, it doesn't select it, does it? Goes from A to B. But if you click on it, let's say you want power, then you got the notch there. Okay, so I hope that was informative for you. If you like the content, please uh, consider giving it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And I hope to see you soon. This is Frank. KN6 BST.